Danny Wills done on Saturday, what's your thoughts ahead of the game? Yeah, we've looked at a lot of their footage to be fair. They've they've had a similar start to us in a lot of ways, in the sense of they've they've had games where they probably should have got more out of it than what they did. Um, credit to them, they've they've recruited well in the summer. Um, I, I, I look at the way they're trying to play. It's it's they, they're they're a good side, so it's going to be a really tough, really tough game Saturday. We talk about our preparation. Obviously, we go into it with our first win of the season against Southend. A great win for everyone, and one that I know we knew the boys are particularly proud of on the night. Yeah, we we showed we showed great character. Um, the, the 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 core psychological and mental attributes that we want from players, we showed on Tuesday night. We showed maturity. We we did the the, the nasty bits well, um, but. And it is a but. We have to build on that, and we have to make sure that that's the standard. That's that's the level that we're that we're attaining to every time we step out on the football pitch. So credit to the lads because they, as I said, they've shown great resilience, and we all knew the result was coming. Um, so to get it under the belt, it gives us an opportunity to go into Saturday with confidence in the team, knowing that we've got to be at our best to make sure we, we bring the points home on Saturday. Hopefully as well, like you say before, winning is a habit and a routine. We want to get into that routine of winning and getting good results. Yeah, and this is a league that, that epitomises the ability. If you can put a run together, then you can you can catapult yourself up the table. Um, and and vice versa. If you if you go on a bad streak, you can drop ten places in three games. It's it's such a competitive league. It's such a tough league, and we have to make sure though that we're putting in the the work and the and and the effort that gives us an opportunity to win every football match. And I think that the last three performances, I think we've done that, and uh, long may that continue. Of course, last night saw us host our first fans forum of the season as well, and it was a bit longer than we were anticipated. But it was good to get all the answers questioned by the fans. Yeah, I, look, it's, that's what it's there for. Um, it's there. We, 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 I know that not everyone always agrees with what I say, and some people do, and some people don't, and that's that's life. That's football. Um, but I'm always honest. I always answer a question if if I can. If I if I have an answer, I'll give you an answer. It, it, Sometimes it might not be what 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 you wanted to hear, but it it will be our opinion on on how things are. Um, so thanks to everyone who attended. Thank you for everyone who, who submitted questions because it was quite an informative evening. And 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 I, and I hope that anyone who watched it, whether it's via the Facebook link or who were at the at the event, would see that we've we've got nothing to hide. We are what we are, and what we are saying is this: this all mucking together and. And see where that takes us. Because of course we also sort of mentioned that at the end of every home game in particular, pretty much there is a fans forum at the end of every game. Everyone goes up there and sort of, if people want to ask questions or speak to you, the, the opportunity is there. I've, n- I've never not gone up to the to the Ebb Lounge after a game, the win, lose or draw, because we one we don't hide because we take we take the rough with the smooth. We can't be in there when we win and not be in there when we lose. And if 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 as long as people are respectful and. And have a, a, a put their point across in the right manners. We'll entertain any conversations after game. Do I? I don't particularly want to be in there for four hours like we were at the fans forum last night. But we'll we'll answer questions. And if as long as, as I said, as long as it's done in the right manner and the, the, with an understanding that you know what we don't ever walk out on the pitch to perform badly or lose a game. We walk out to try and win every time we do it. So that that's uh, as long as that's taken into consideration, we'll, that that should be fine. Injury-wise, obviously we've got obviously George came back in, Mo came back in, obviously Kev's out. Was is hopefully going to be back involved. What's the latest for some of those players? Um, yeah, I, I, you've pretty much just summed it up. <laughs> yeah, it is. It, yeah, obviously George and Mo got their. Well, George got his first ninety um, since since his since his knock. Um, Mo came back in, played played the longest he's played so far. Probably a little bit longer than we probably wanted him to, um, but he's recovered fine. So he, he he's in he's in. Good shape for Saturday. Uh, West comes back into the squad, which is which is great. And um, we've got a couple we need to look at today who carrying a little bit, but within reason. I think we're pretty much as we were. Looking at Wilson, obviously we had a good record against them last season, when home and away there. But like you mentioned off camera yesterday, they're a bit of a different side this season in terms of you know they've got good players and a lot of good additions to the squad this year. Yeah, they brought in some good experience, and you know what? The thing is with this league, you don't know. You can you can go to a Notts County and and like we did last year and win and then you could play a, a Kings Lynn at home and, and they, they battered us last year and I don't think there's any I think that's why so, so many teams struggle when they come out of the Football League to go straight back up because there are no dead cert fixtures 
there's not a fixture you can look at and go, we are 100% going to win that game because you can't do that. I know people argue you can't do that at any level, but within reason, the top sides generally beat the teams in the lower echelons of the league. It doesn't work like that in our league. Some of the results already this season have shown that. Some of the goals that are being scored, it's a, it's a really tough, tough league and you've got good managers, you've got good players, uh, you've got massive clubs, you've got good clubs and everyone's kind of giving themselves an opportunity to get results on a regular basis, which, which makes it, from a neutral perspective, an exciting league. Frustrating as hell as a manager, but it is the way it is and, and Willstone are no different in, from that perspective. And of course, we'll be hoping for a similar thriller to when the last time we were there when it was 4-3. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a boring one nil. Um, but yeah, no. Look, the bottom line is we we need to make sure we come away with some points tomorrow, and we'll we'll build from that, and we'll see where that takes us. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.